Today I'm going to walk through a few of the new features and improvements that we've added to the MagiCard V2 printer driver. To access the V2 printer driver, first install the driver on your system, and then go ahead and plug in any MagiCard printer. When I have a MagiCard printer connected, I can go to my Devices and Printers section of the control panel, and I'll see the printer that's connected. Go ahead and right-click the printer and select Printing Preferences. This is going to open up the new driver. The first thing you'll notice is that we've completely redesigned the graphical user interface on the driver. No more do we have tiny tabs at the top. Our engineers have put nice big tabs that allow easy selecting of different parts of the driver. Pretty much everything is the same in the driver in terms of some of the basic features. In the printer tab, we can select whether we want to print the front, back, or both sides of the card. We can select between two default card sizes and we can tell the printer what type of card we're printing. On the card front and back, we've made major updates to the way that you interact with the cards and set the colors. We've also redesigned how we do the security options and made a much nicer interface for how we define holocode. One of the biggest improvements in this part is that you can define resin black areas. Previously, if you were printing a card with black text, sometimes that, that text would be printed out in YMC. So the printer would lay yellow, magenta, and cyan areas over each other to create a black area. If you have really small text, this can result in blurred sentences and blurred words, which doesn't look very good on a final card. In the V2 driver, we can actually define black resin areas in our black resin areas panel. We go ahead and select an area on the back. And then we just drag over the card sample provided to define what area we want to print only black resin text in. And I can actually define multiple areas here just by clicking a new area and then dragging on the card sample. I can also then fine tune these areas with the sliders on the right here. So I can actually put this guy down farther if I want. And if I wanted to put this guy a little more up, I can do that as well. We've also added a host of new features that let you better tune the colors on your card. In the image settings, we have this new color adjustment option. And what the color adjustment option is it actually gives us a preview of what the card might look like and then allows us to adjust the contrast, the brightness, the color, the tint, and the input gammas of the image that we're printing. It also allows us to define black reference colors and white reference shades. We can switch between different colors to kind of get an idea of what the final color palette that we're developing here looks like. This is a really powerful tool because it allows you to perform extremely fine color adjustments on your cards so that if a color is not coming out a certain way, you can finally adjust how that works and make sure that your cards print exactly how you want them. The other thing you'll notice about this driver is that it's extremely fast. The MagiCard V2 driver allows the computer full control of the printer driver and the printer spooler. Previously, we split those tasks between the operating system and the software. What the result of that was was a really slow, clunky interface that took time to load between these tabs. You'll notice on the new V2 driver that the driver loads right up, the tabs switch quickly between each other, and it's really fast to print. We also added some innovative features like job batch printing. When you send a large document down to the printer, the printer will automatically split that document into multiple jobs. What this means is that if there's any sort of loss of power or error in the printer during your printing process, you don't lose the entire job. You just have to restart the printer, fix the issue, and every job will continue to print. So that's a quick walkthrough of the MagiCard V2 driver. For more information, please visit www.ultramagiccard.com.